Hey everybody, Bob Main from the Handgun World Podcast. Out at the range today with my uh, MMP 2.0 Compact. You know, last week, in last week's episode, I talked about the fact that this year, I'm going to spend most of the year shooting two MMPs. Uh, for a long time, I've wanted to switch to MMPs, believe it or not, but what's kept me from doing it mainly were the uh, the triggers. Well, these 2.0s, I think, have a whole lot better triggers, and these this is first shots with my MMP 2.0. I've shot this gun before. I mean, I've shot an MMP 2.0 compact before, but not my own. So you're going to get a chance to uh, see me shoot my own. A couple things that I wanted to say, first of all. You know, this grip texturing also is another thing that's really sold me on the 2.0s. Uh, I'm, I'm not so crazy about this grip texture carrying up against bare skin, but as you see, I wear t-shirts nearly all the time. Even here in San Antonio when it's 105, I'll have a t-shirt on like this, so it doesn't bother me. But I will say, I think it might be a little bit too rough if you're carrying this gun up against bare skin. I think there'll probably be some fixes for that coming in the future. Uh, a Glock 19 sized Smith & Wesson. Uh, it's about time, it's about freaking time. You know, that was the other reason why I never uh, carried an M&P, because I only had two choices. I had a full-size M&P, or I had a shield. And while I love the shield, I wanted something compact size, a little bit bigger than the shield, but smaller than the uh, M&P. Way to go, Smith & Wesson. They came up with it. Uh, I put one magazine into the paper target, and another into steel. I think I missed one steal. Shame on me. Great shooting gun. I love this. Let's go check out the targets. Let's go check out the targets, Ben. I'll take it. First time shooting the gun. Haven't practiced with it much, but uh, I'll take it. Thanks.